In this session we're going to look at how we import uh, PCB files, uh, Gerber files from uh, PCB design packages. Um, again, uh, like a lot of the other more complex tasks, we use an import wizard. Uh, so we have a, an import wizard called import Gerber mill, so we'll select that. And as it's wizard based, we're asked one or two questions per page and we work our way through to create a cutting program that we can run on the machine. So here um, I've got it set to use uh, two layer uh, PCB board so the first option is select the top layer so we shall select that and then we go next and then select the bottom layer if there is one which there is in this case okay and then on the next page select the drill file. This will depend on the package you export from. Some include them in one of the previous files, some have them as a separate file. If it isn't found in the previous one of the previous files then it prompts for one on this screen. Okay so we've got the uh, the three files imported there, so the top layer, the bottom layer and the drill file. They're all merged together uh, in this view here. Uh, here we select the material that we're going to cut, well PCB board and we have that in the material library uh, and then we can actually change the, the size of it here. Uh, the copper thickness, uh, that will define how far the cutter uh, cuts through to get through the copper. We can move the circuit around, I've just got it set to centre here. Uh, now we pick a track cutting tool, usually a chamfer tool. We have a special tool that, that Botford can provide for either a standard machine or a machine with a floating head. Uh, the number of offset passes here I've got set to 5. Uh, it can be any number, uh, 1 or greater. Uh, offset uh, is mean when it cuts around the tracks here. Uh, by having 5 passes it will do 5 passes each one moving out a little bit. It just creates a larger moat between the track and the rest of the copper on the board makes it just a little easier when you uh, come to soldering, uh, the chances of soldering a short are reduced. Okay, so uh, we're now uh, ready to process the top circuit. Uh, remove copper would remove the entire copper, but we, we only do that maybe on very small boards because it's a very time consuming process. Uh, pilot drill holes is very useful if you're going to do drilling of the holes as well, then to pilot them with the chamfer tool. Uh, means that, that you're much less likely to break a drill. So we select process and it has created some offset cutter paths as you can see there, the yellow lines. Now if I just zoom in a little bit you can start to see the different paths and you can start to see the five paths that we talked about. So there's five yellow lines there and each one moving out slightly. To make sure there's still an overlap we remove copper uh, between them. Okay. And we're now going to process the bottom layer as well. Okay we've got both layers processed. Uh, now in this little option here we can create some registration marks for flipping this over especially if you're using the Boxford supplied um, uh, double sided board uh, that's got location pins and you can use that to perfectly register the board when you uh, when you turn it over. Uh, for this uh, example I'm not going to bother. Uh, what I am going to do is produce what we call a component file. Uh, this creates a file in the main Boxford application that links the two files together and then asks for an orientation halfway through manufacturing. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to save the file out and continue. And we're actually loaded straight back into the main CAD CAM Design Tools application uh, and we can select either file and do a simulation. So if I just zoom that in a little bit for you and then just play it at a better speed, you can see we're doing the outside of the tracks Here you can see that the holes are also getting spotted ready for drilling. And of course we're offsetting five times so the moat around the edge of the track is getting larger with each pass. 
and then we've actually just drilled the holes uh, and if you want to just see that the holes have been drilled if I just flip the board over then you can see the holes underneath okay and equally we can also simulate the bottom layer as well obviously this is much simpler okay and where we connected to a machine uh, then we'll be able to click on the manufacture icon and manufacture all the programs that are in the list so we manufacture the first one then ask for your rotation and manufacture uh, the second one uh, you could even do smaller boards using a, a rotary axis either an indexer or a powered fourth axis and grip it between the two jaws chucks uh, and rotate that way okay so that's how you import a, a Gerber mill uh, file uh, from a PCB design package okay, thank you for your time